I'm Real Tonight Demon, and this is Crypt on the ZX Spectrum. Now I'm playing this on my plus two, so I've just taken a little while to load actually. Um, if you saw, as I, I, I like to do the loaders that begin here, I've actually put it together. It was the weirdest little loader I've ever seen. It kind of had a loading screen, and then there's this point where there's a counter, but don't stop the tape. It was like some kind of bizarre copy protection built into it which I, I I'm, I'm not entirely sure how it was meant to work I think it was meant the count was meant to get a certain point and if it didn't hear the sound it was meant to hear on the tape at a specific time it would stop working I don't know it was very weird anyway so yes um cover of the the crypt if I haven't already stuck up the screen I probably have done already um um Carnell Software this was 1983 written by a Stephen Renton who was 17 at the time um living in Dalkeith in Scotland it says on the back of the box, actually. Um, I combined his skills and, and uh, computer programming skills and his love of fantasy to produce a unique um, a graphic adventure. Uh, it, I, and this is his first commercial game. So this is his first game. And it came in the most enormous box. It's a really big box, actually. It's enough for two tapes. And um, on the inside, there's a bit saying that, that they've got that there isn't a second tape here. You know, they had to tell you that there wasn't a second tape. Um, but yeah, most enormous box and, and a cardboard inlay. I'm actually quite impressed by the quality that went onto this. I wonder how much they actually sold it for. I, I should look that up at some point. Anyway, um, there's some controls and some keys to move around. But if you can see on the screen here, it says that, that first we're, we're trying to get gold and then we're trying to find a crew sacred crucifix which we're going to take back to stop Satan. Which kind of obvious or really for the games of the time and um, there's some keys to move around with um, I'm just looking at the keys there there's a Z which is up and down and M, um, M, M and N which are left and right um, and we've got to enter a code specifically to get out of a level so it seems we have to achieve a code to get out of a level so there's this kind of a weird uh, you know, uh, level coding thing that has to be done to get further forward. So anyway, we got we got to, we got to get got to get through these levels. I haven't even tried it yet. I literally wanted to start it so that you could see it as I see it. So we've got to type them as they appear on the screen. So we want to put Carnell in, which is the name of the, the the company that makes it. So we'll do that. Right. Okay. So we got the keys. Bear behave yourself. Are you brave enough to confront the mystical beings that dwell in the crypt? I certainly am. I am ready to go. So we're in the crypt. This is crypt one. What, what am I? Oh gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh gosh. It's a bit sticky doesn't exactly go fast. I'm going to grab the sword though. I think that may be a benefit. You, him. Oh god, I've got food as well to get. There's gold. Now I wasn't not sure what I should expect from this. It feels like it's a basic game because of the fact that there seems to be a huge delay between um, my input of I want to move this direction and not. I've now got a sword. Alright, so I should be able to attack this creature now if I can get myself positioned with him oh he's attacked mate I'm assuming that's my gold let's go kill him he's running away he's running doesn't like the look of me I'm alright when the sword hits him at the right place I can't move through that now because the sword's too big <laughs> sword won't let me get through the gap oh it's so slow Oh, he's got brilliant cover as well. Come on! There was no screenshots though. You can tell. You can tell that 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 possibly that. Oh, much better now. And now that the character's gone as well. It's much faster. A black mamba. Oh no! Did it kill me? Oh, it did. It gave me. It injured me a little bit. I'm gonna take this sword though. Right. Okay. Oh no, it's just moving around, so it's one per room, I'm guessing. So I've got my food. Right, let's go up to the next crypt. Crypt number 11. This is going to be quite tough, I can feel it. So you got to get codes to get through levels, so, so this is interesting, because we're just kind of creating one crypt after the other. Okay. Let's get our sword again. So we have our sword. Okay. 
say, a bit, bit slow moving. And as long as he doesn't get near me, beside me, I can just kind of kill him. It seems to be like a roll of a dice and I'm doing it. And because he's just in front of me, oh, he's moving now. He knows he's going to have to back me into a corner somehow. Come here, run, don't run away, little, little skull-based dude. He's running. I'm going to take, I'm going to cut to the high road. Which way are you going? You don't know which way to run, do you? You know I'm coming for you. Here I come. I'm running all the way. Oh, what the heck's that? It's like explosions. Don't be, a, don't be. A... Uh oh, I'm going slow again. Let's open the skull one. No, another black man, but there's, there's loads of these snakes. Why do I keep. Uh, maybe that's just got snakes in it. Maybe I just need to leave them alone. Uh oh, explosion. Let's go up. I don't want your explosions, you can keep them. Crypt number 21. Whoa! Killed me! Last. Another adventurer has been beaten by the crypt. Do you wish to play it again? Yes. Oh, I've got to enter the code again now. Alright, okay, let's go for it. I am brave enough to enter it. Let me enter the let me enter the crypt. It is the crypt, but the box ah oh, it is actually the box does, uh, box doesn't say the crypt box says crypt and then the inside it says the crypt. Blood cell attack. What the What the heck? What the heck was that? Yes, I want to play again. I don't know why I wrote the whole thing, because why worked. I also want to play again. This is, this is insane! Do you see that? I don't even know what was meant to do then. Oh, right, I've got to type the number, I think. Uh, oh, nine. Uh, oh, maybe I just have to press nine. Oh, what the heck? Oh, right, do you know, the funny thing is about this game is it. I, I, although it's quite slow moving or whatever else it is, it's just caught me, it's sapped me in now. Right, no blood cell attack, thank goodness for that. Right, and that's randomised, and there's some kind of jelly-like creature. I'm not going to collect that gold this time, I'm just going to go this way and then go out of the room. You can just stay there, you whatever you are, sort of slug-like tortoise creature. i got better places to be, and I'm not trying to open... Oh, no, 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 quick, quick, I think I've just got to press the number of the key. Three, yes, four, uh, seven... You're safe for the moment. What? Don't even know what that's about. It doesn't even say. I don't think. He's hurting me. When he when he gets so low though, he runs away. I think, why can he run faster? Definitely basic. This. We're gonna hit the brake button in a bit. Get him! Got him! Right, okay. That explosion's just taking out the thing on the screen as well, the, 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 the chest. Right, we've got the next room. We're in. Crypt 3. Kind of stands to reason, I guess, that we move through them. It's just collecting gold. Uh, there must be something that you have to do to get past these creatures, though. Look at that thing, what the heck's that? He's not very nice. You're not very nice. Oh, here we go. One. Three. One. That's actually quite a quick game, that one, funnily enough. That one, that one quite quick in the long run. Crypt 4. Right, you stay there, creature. I don't think I can attack you if you're not facing forward either, which is the worst part about this thing. They get, like, double moves. I get, like, one move, and they get double ones. Look, they can catch up with me all the time. Okay, on we go. Crypt number five. I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. I was going to go the other way, but it seems... So, uh, was 11 was above me with the first one. So that means there, there's 10 across by 10 up. I wonder how far... There's 15. Oh, no, I'm dead. I have been beaten by the crypt. How do I beat that, though? Oh, I can't type delete yes 
The thing about games when they were kind of homebrew, I mean, and the most games, I think, I think you can probably agree that the of the eighties were were quite, were, you know, when these publishers brought them out, were quite homebrew. You know, they were made by bedroom developers, which is great. I mean, it's fantastic that that actually happened. Um, but the thing about it is, if you were a developer or you were, you know, a publisher, and you you got you got approached by, you know, with about this game, I'm going to sell this game to you to sell, um, and you got approached by him, and they you. You would have to give them a demo of how it worked and what was involved in it. Oh no, I'm dead already. Um, so kind of, I have to think. I have to move through them in order. Um, but anyway, you'd give them a demo of this kind of thing. And uh, but of course, you wrote it. So if you wrote it, then you know exactly the ins and outs of it. You can't. If you handed it to them, I think that they might find it a little bit more difficult. However, I can I can see where they're, they're going to with this. And of course, as a developer, you could kind of break through certain you know barriers of it and sort of say this is what we're going to do with this that and the other um thing that's got me with this game is it's actually it's truly frustrating but at the same time i can see where what was what what what, what they were trying to do here he's going to run away now look a horrible thing i'm going to chase you now and stab you to death with my sword yeah, I can see what he was trying to do. It's kind of, it's kind of like you know, um, Hammer House of Horrors. I think that's where he was going where with this. I think this is this is this is this is somebody you know seen some some um, you know some of those movies with the, the early Draculas and things like that and those kind of horror movies. I think that's where they were going with this. So I think that's the idea. You know, the crypt, out, scary deep place. You know. Um, And if this is his first commercial game, he did all right, actually. To be fair, I wonder if he went on to program anything else. I have to find that some of the developers of games actually do come back and say to me uh, that they, you know that they've 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 seen my 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 videos of, of some of the games that were probably not as mainstream as as, as others. Um, if you're out there, Stephen, give us a shout. I'm interested to know. A chest of drugs. Oh my god. Oh, it's good though. I've gone up five health. I've taken the drugs. Just say yes. That's what they say in this this game. So he's got like four random blocks that appear in the, the screen. I'm running. Gonna go to the next room. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, blood cell attack. Here we go. Uh, zero. One, eight, got him. You're safe for the moment. Fantastic box. I can't open the box. I think I have to defeat the monster in each crypt to, to, to move on. Yeah, fantastic box, fantastic art. A huge amount of effort put into that. Let's sell attack. Four. Got it. It's actually quite a hard bit, that. I'm going for it. I'm going out. You just leave me alone, creature. You just stay there. Stop attacking me. Right, crypt, crypt 5. I think this is the farthest we've made it previously. It's a bit odd that you kind of appear in the middle of the room, but it's okay. I kind of, kind of get that. Okay. Ooh. I think I was half stuck in the block there. There you go, you have to chase me around the block now. Ha ha ha! I'm ahead of you now. I hope I don't get killed by that Cyclops again, because that wasn't much fun. Crypt number seven. I'm just going to prove the point to myself here. I'm going to try and get across the ten, ten screens. I wonder how many screens are in each one. If it's a, if it's ten by... God, can you imagine if it's a hundred screens of this? 
Mind you, to be fair, it's all they're all procedurally generated. Well, when we now we use the fancy modern terminology. It used to be called random when I was a kid. It used to be random levels, you know. Um, but they're clearly, they're clearly random levels are there. And um, but what am I looking for? You know, this is the thing. He's saying I need the code to get to the room, to the next level. If I open up one of these chests here. And I can't open it unless I kill what's in the room, it seems. Which is great, because it's given me a... You know, this is what I meant to do. But... Right, so I've killed him. Now I can... Now there's going to be explosions next. A black mamba. Right, and I'm, no, half my health went in the water. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no accounting for what's in there. They're obviously all full of snakes. They, they're put in treasure chests. Is clearly where you store snakes. Yeah, go away with your explosions. Oh, blood cell attack! Here we go again. Zero. I pushed zero. No! Another adventurer killed by the crypt. Right. Let's see if we can break it. Are we done with that? So let's just type some random keys in here and see what happens. <laughs> Oh no, you don't even get to break him if you have the wrong thing and he reboots on you. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I love it. No way to actually... If you get it wrong, that's it. You're stuffed. It reboots on you. That's brilliant. That is absolutely... I love that. That's brilliant. That's a lot of fun. Thank you very much for that. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, thank you, Mr. Mr. Renton. That was really good. I enjoyed that. It, it's so weird and wonderful. I, I like it. Um... I might even play it again. It's just insane, though. It's very difficult. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.